Hey guys, it's David Miller, Phoenix, Arizona multimedia artist and educator. I have come back from a round of traveling and I have shot a lot with my daughter this year. Uh, we've been through New Mexico, Oregon, and most recently Hawaii. And uh, we're making a book collaborative effort between Maggie and myself. And uh, we've done this before in zine form. We used some of her old writings and some photos we took on other adventures we had in Macedonia, Hawaii, Arizona, and so forth. But she's turning 10 years old and it felt like a good time to create an art piece that sort of summarizes what we've done in those 10 years. And also the really fun writing that she does because my daughter is a great writer and she's really strange in the way that young kids are allowed to be strange and not self-conscious about their writing. Having shot with her so much this year in particular, I wanted to talk about the challenges of photographing your own family. There are a lot of photographers out there who make their family into their art form. Most famously, Sally Mann photographed her children in the buff, and uh, according to Sally, this was just the lifestyle they had and it, nobody thought anything of it other than this is what kids do, this is how our family lives. And there are many art institutions that agreed with her. Uh, people like the FBI saw it differently. I, of course, never do that with my daughter. We have adventures and I usually have her really gothed out in the kind of uh, fashion photography style. But to see a little girl totally gothed out and super serious or with her wacky expressions, you know, these are ways that daddy and daughter relate. I will say there's a lot of challenges in making your family a centerpiece of your art. First of all, it's incredibly personal. So when I work with models, we usually have a set time limit. There's an agreed upon compensation and uh, we go our separate ways at the end of the shoot. But with my daughter, the shoot never ends and she doesn't like that. She might say, daddy, one or two more pictures. And then she might come up with an arbitrary price for each photo, uh, things that she wants. If she's not in the mood, she is not going to be like the professional models I work with. She is definitely not going to be in the mood. And uh, going to Hawaii this trip, I had a particular shot I really wanted in this volcanic field, but once we got there, uh, it was late in the day. She was hungry, she was tired. She saw the skeleton of a pig, and in general, she was just scared to be there and did not feel like doing photographs. This was on the fourth day of our trip to Hawaii, and we'd already been shooting a whole bunch of other times. It just wasn't gonna happen. And I feel like if we didn't have this daddy-daughter relationship, if she wasn't a nine-year-old person who is easily scared of things like the skeleton of a pig, which is, by the way, her favorite animal, then I probably would have been able to get the shot that I wanted if I had somebody who was an adult model with me. One of the most important things to remember when photographing members of your family is everyone has feelings and everybody wants attention, even if they're not all the greatest models. I have noted when shooting Maggie that my wife make comments to the effect of, well, you know, they're not daddy's muses. Daddy doesn't look at them the same way. And uh, it kind of breaks my heart to hear things like that. So now when we go out, I make sure there's a role for my son, my wife, even the dogs, if they're having similar feelings. At the time of this recording, it's been a few months since I've done any model shoots and I am looking forward to doing some more family shoots. I've done quite a few in the last year with the people around me. Because I've had this delay in the model shoot material, I look at it and it doesn't mean a whole lot to me. It doesn't seem relevant and it's starting to not feel fresh anymore. Versus some of the work I've done with my family, maybe it's four, five, six years old, but I'll look at it and I'll re-edit it and try and fit it in with the contemporary style because it means a lot more to me. And I believe at the end of my photographic career, these are the photos that I'm gonna be the most proud of. These are the ones I'm gonna keep displaying or publishing in books and zines and uh, promoting when the sort of fashion model stuff is long left in the dust. I recall checking out a book of Annie Leibowitz's work from our local library. And the book was split into two sections. One was her celebrity work 
It included her Vanity Fair covers, uh, things that she had done for her series on women, including astronauts and politicians. The second half of the book focused on Annie's personal life, her relationship with Susan Sontag and the children she had. And it was mostly in black and white. I remember having my jaw drop at how good and emotional this work was in contrast to things that were simply jobs. They were very creative jobs for sure. The stuff with the celebrities reeked of cleverness and cleverness is where you kind of trick yourself and you trick your audience into seeing how smart something is. When you have good work straight from your own life, it's all about the heart. And to that end, I encourage any photographer, any artist out there, if you haven't already uh, utilized your family as a sort of inspiration or as muses, I encourage you to give it a shot. You're gonna find that a lot of this work is valid, it's full of soul, and it's gonna stand the test of time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more creative tutorials, gear reviews, and video art. Also check out our Patreon for weekly bonus videos and model photography sets.